y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Katie and I make stuff vegan. I had so boom. So y'all know I love TikTok. And if you don't know, like I love TikTok. Like I be on TikTok, I just be scrolling like, it's like my favorite hobby. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> that sounds bad. It's one of my favorite things to do. Let's say that. And there's a trend going around where people are doing like five products like they don't recommend for whatever niche you got. And I thought it would be cute to do something for like vegan stuff. Like even though it's not TikTok, like a lot of people come here for information. And I thought it would be cute to share five products that I do not recommend. I thought it would be a little funny too. So if you want to see five vegan products that I do not recommend, keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe so you never miss any of my videos. I have a recipe today, so I ain't cook nothing. But you know, I like my website so you could like go like that. You could tippy tippy tap. And yeah. Oh, also, this is just my personal opinion. Don't send no cease and desist. Like, I, we just having fun. Okay? And also, like, let's be messy. Like, what products don't you recommend? Okay, let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna come out the gate with my first one being like probably the most controversial. And then it's like basically anything by Calithia Farms. Like, I don't get it. What, what is, what are y'all, what's what's going on? Why do y'all go up for Calithia Farms like that? Like, answer me, answer quickly. Like, why? I don't get it. Like, I don't get it. Like. The only product I could say were like, okay, I don't really mind it. They have like this like chocolate mocha, that's the same thing. They have this mocha iced coffee thing that's like not bad, but like, I also haven't bought that in like three years. Like, I don't get it. Like everybody loves Khalifa Farms, blah, blah, blah. Oh, they're almond but Why would you spend $80 on Khalifa Farms almond milk that don't even taste good when you could just get Target brand almond milk for $2.79? Like, I don't, I don't get it. Like, please explain to me what's good with Califia Farms. It just tastes bad to me. I don't know if it's the pea protein that they use. I don't know, but I've always been disappointed. I think the last product I bought from them was like their, their like holiday nog. And I was like, this is crazy. Like, I feel like people aren't being serious when they say like Califia Farms. I was, I'm sorry, I feel like you're not being serious. Uh, I don't know. Okay, I think I've already said this before, like in my video talking about like your first 24 hours vegan. But like, honestly, anything by go veggie like okay have the girlies changed their recipe maybe i don't know i haven't bought go veggie in literally five years like if it's go veggie don't inspire nobody go vegan it don't inspire nothing vegan like when i tell you they're vegan uh squares because those aren't vegan cheese slices i don't know what they are literally has a paper the 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 texture of like what's that what's that stuff from art class What's that stuff? Um, the tissue paper. That's that's the same texture. Like, be for real. I would like I would not recommend anything from Go Veggie. Like, have they changed? Maybe I don't know. Like, yeah, I wouldn't do it. Don't don't do it. <laughs> okay, my third one. Speaking of cheese, is gonna be any of Daya's shredded cheeses. Now, I will say, and I have said, cause we have to give credit where credit is due, right? So. When Daya was out there handing out wood shavings, like back in like 2016, 2017, the girls were eating it because we had no choice. Then, you know what I'm saying, follow your heart. Um, what's not the big brand? I always say follow your heart, but there's other ones like, um, what's that one? So delicious. When they came out with their vegan shreds or whatever, they had got their money up and they came out with the off the block, came out with the off the block like branch of their brand. I don't know. And those aren't bad, but I still want to recommend Daya. I never recommend Daya to people who like aren't vegan and don't know what's up because it, first of all, it shouldn't have took y'all that. And secondly, like there are just simply better shredded vegan cheeses. I mean, even Kroger got a vegan cheese brand. You know what I'm saying? Now, one thing I will defend Daya on, they have them little like vegan cheese blocks. I haven't seen those in a minute. Cause I used to get them at Wegmans and obviously, not obviously, there's no Wegmans in Memphis. So, or in the South period. So I don't know, and I'm not really looking for it anyway, but they, they have like these like vegan cheese blocks that are pretty good. And then I got some of their, their uh, singles in my fridge right now. So like, I feel like Daya as a brand and their pizzas are good. Like the, as a brand, their box macaroni is okay. But like, I would not recommend their shreds because like there are simply other brands that do it better and cheaper than Daya. 
Okay, my fourth one is kind of like a little random, but like I wanna get it off my chest. And that's like the cream cheese, like the vegan cream cheese from Trader Joe's. Like I always avoid it. Like, like okay, vegan cream cheese, if you want a good vegan cream cheese, it's gonna be a little expensive. I've noticed like I haven't bought Kite Hill cream cheese since like last year. And I was out of town and I need, I, just, I had some bagels and I need some cream cheese. And I was like, all right. But honestly, and when we talk about that, like I would really, okay. You know, I love, you know I love Trader Joe's, but since we're here, I would really just avoid vegan cheeses from Trader Joe's in general. Like, they don't really eat. Like, they have a vegan mac and cheese. It's weird. It's so, like, yeah, it's weird. And then their vegan cream cheese is weird. Like, I would just, I would just avoid that. Like, let's just say that. Um, I'm just thinking, like, I love Trader Joe's down boots. But, like, you know, I'm with her when she's right. <laughs> Okay, something I would literally never recommend because I would literally never forget it. Boom, it's like week three of me being, being vegan, right? And I'm like, okay, like, you know, some sausage will sound cute. Like, that sound cute, that sound good, right? Okay, so I go to like the local co-op in Rochester and I see these like tofurkey sausages. I'm like, okay, period. Uh, now, the sun-dried tomato ones, I recommend those because like those are good in pasta. Like, when you put it that, with some vegan cheese and some nutritional yeast and some mushrooms and some spinach and you hook that junk, sun-dried tomatoes, hook that junk up, no, it bangs. But the bratwurst flavor, baby girl, go down to your local beach and get some sand and you'll have the same exact taste, everything. Like I do not recommend, it's so bad. Wow. But you know what, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, I haven't had it literally since that first experience, and that was in 2017. So, you know, maybe they got better now. I don't know, but like, I would not recommend it at all. Let's be messy. Let me know what, what products you don't recommend. And actually, I really want to hear from you because I'm, I know, I just know, I just know, like, products that I love, y'all gonna be like, mm. Like somebody who said they don't like very soy, baby girl, what happened? Very soy tastes like soy. Like you gotta, like I, that's crazy. Or people who don't like, um, now beyond me, impossible me, I get it. Cause it's like really realistic. So I can see that, but like, I wanna, I wanna hear what y'all have to say. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to never miss any of my videos while you're here. Check out my other video, cause you know what's in my another video. Yeah, right, check my plenty of videos. Thank you again, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye, y'all.